Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Defense Council, the SDC, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, chaired the Council's meeting, which was held today in Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty hailed the contributions of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and his role in serving the kingdom, as well as his valuable contributions to the SDC. His Majesty also praised the extensive efforts of his Royal Highness the Crown Prince in all fields. He renewed his congratulations and wished him success in carrying out his duties and responsibilities as Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the Kingdom. His Majesty expressed his appreciation of the statements of the Cabinet and the Legislative Authority concerning the preservation of fishermen rights, adding that the statements of both the Legislative and Executive Authorities affirms the Kingdom's keenness on pursuing growth and development for the people of the region. His Majesty also praised the efforts of Team Bahrain in combating the coronavirus led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, adding that the success of Team Bahrain has contributed to lowering the number of daily cases and increasing the number of recoveries. He also hailed the continuous efforts of Bahrain Defense Force, the Ministry of Interior and the National Guard to curb the spread of the virus to protect the health and safety of the community. His Majesty also also expressed his appreciation and pride in the role of all individuals who continued to carry their noble humanitarian responsibility in serving their homeland. He underscored the launch of the national vaccination campaign against the coronavirus, praising the turnout of citizens and residents to take the vaccine. He also commended the distinguished efforts of the medical caters. His Majesty wished the Kingdom further progress, prosperity and security. The Council reviewed the latest regional developments and security threats that target some countries and the reflection of the lives of their people, particularly in light of some regional and international countries' desire to impose their influence and extend their control and hegemony over the region. The Council affirmed the importance of ending all conflicts and regional disagreements peacefully and according to international conventions and the principles of neighborliness. It also called for spreading peace and achieving security and stability for the benefit of the region. National Security Advisor, Secretary General of the SDC and National Guard Commander, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, briefed the Council on the proposals aimed at increasing the defense, security and health capabilities. The SDC also reviewed the topics listed on its agenda and took the necessary decisions to ensure the safety of the Kingdom and its citizens and residents. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa affirmed that Bahraini women will always remain a key partner in the system of national achievements. He stated that since its establishment in the 70s, women police have shown great capabilities in performing police work with high professionalism. He noted that women police have become a key component in the security system by attracting leading Bahraini women to maintain the security and stability of the kingdom and its people. On the occasion of almost 50 years since the establishment of Women Police, His Majesty expressed pride in all its affiliates who have shown great dedication. He hailed the leading role of the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in empowering women, which has bolstered national performance. His Majesty also commended the leading role of Bahraini Women Police, which has become a model to be emulated in the region. He also underscored the role of the Ministry of Interior in supporting women police by facilitating training to increase competencies. His Majesty she added that women police have assumed leading positions which reflects their advanced abilities. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in which she congratulated him on assuming the position of Prime Minister. She congratulated him on earning the trust of His Majesty the King and praised His Royal Highness for his unlimited support and constant keenness on enriching the kingdom and protecting its gains. She also highlighted His Royal Highness's dedication to further develop the kingdom, wishing him every success in carrying out his duties and responsibilities. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the Royal Court Affairs Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on assuming the position of Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Ali extended his deepest congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the Royal Trust bestowed upon him, wishing His Royal Highness every success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from a number of presidents, prime ministers and crown princes of Arab and Islamic as well as friendly countries on assuming the position of prime minister. They expressed their congratulations to His Royal Highness for earning the royal trust of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, wishing him success to achieve the aspirations of the kingdom and its people. They also wished him health and happiness and the kingdom and his people for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness received congratulatory cables from the following. The President of Palestine and Chairman of the Palestine Liberation Organization, Mahmoud Abbas. The President of the Republic of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The President of the Republic of Armenia, Armin Sargisyan. The President of the Republic of Turkmenistan, Gurban Guli Berdi Mahmoudaw. The President of the Republic of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte. The President of the Republic of Indonesia, Yoko Widodo. The President of the Republic of Afghanistan, Dr. Mohammed Ashraf. The President of the Republic of Cyprus, Nikos Anastasiadis. The Chancellor of Germany, Dr. Angela Merkel. The Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs of Oman, His Highness Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said. The Crown Prince of Brunei Darussalam, Al Muhtadi Billah. The Prime Minister of Tunisia, Hisham Al Mishishi. The Prime Minister of the Palestinian National Authority, Dr. Mohammed Shatay. The Premier of the People's Republic of China, Li Keqiang. The Prime Minister of Malaysia, Muhyiddin Yassin. The Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Imran Khan. The Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Jordan, Dr. Bishal al Khassan. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Iraq, Mustafa al Kazmi. The Prime Minister of Algeria, Abdelaziz Jarad. The Prime Minister of Lebanon, Hassan Diab. The Prime Minister of France, Jean Coste. The Prime Minister of Somalia, Mohamed Hussein Rubel. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Slovakia, Igor Matovic. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Italy, Giuseppe Conte. The Prime Minister of Norway, Erna Solberg. The Prime Minister of Thailand, General Prayut Shanocha. The Prime Minister of the Friendly Republic of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hussein Wajid. The Prime Minister of Russia, Mikhail Mishostin. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Greece, Kyriakos Mitsotakis. The Prime Minister of Poland, Matysios Morawiecki. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Belarus, Roman Golovashenko. The Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Cambodia, Hun Sen. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore, Li Hsien Long. The Prime Minister of Georgia, Georgi Gakharia. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Hungary, Viktor Orban. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Estonia, Yuri Ratas. The Prime Minister of Belgium, Alexander de Croo. The Prime Minister of Lao, People's Democratic Republic, Thonglu Sisothili. The Prime Minister of Mongolia, Uhnagin Kurulsuk. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ali Asadov. And the Second Minister of Foreign Affairs in Bruni Darussalam, Erwin Pihim Yusuf.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs assigned to Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the victory of Paris FC team under the title Victorious Bahrain in the second division of the French League. His Highness said that this team serves a number of prosperous or pros purposes including the realization of the Bahrain Vision 2030 through achieving success in the athletic field in Europe. He affirmed that the team is keen on supporting teams that carry the title Victorious Bahrain. His Highness said that the team team's return in the game reflects the high morale and a cause for confidence and wished it further success. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the 14th graduation ceremony of the officer cadets from the Ahmad Al Fatah Brigade at the Isa Royal Military College was held. His Majesty deputized the Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force (BDF) Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa to patronize the ceremony, who was received by the National Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, along with the Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi the BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Dia bin Sagr Nahimi and the Under Secretary of Defense Ministry Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The BDF commander in chief then examined the line of graduates.
يا عظيم المكانة قلت خير في مليك سيرة شرف الجمهور ها حاكم البحرين عز الرفيق المستجير بيرق ساد المعالي على منظورها حاكم البحرين عز الرفيق المستجير بيرق ساد المعالي على منظور هذاك بو سلمان تيزوم اهل الجنذير نسلقوه من بالنوايف تشوفوا كورها عادته يقدم على الصعب وشيل الكبير جعل يبطي عمره بخيرها وسفورها واذكر اللي بالذكر كانه السيف الشطير شيخنا سلمان ضد العدا بعقورها الامير الوافي الضافي القرم الخبير ضعي الطوله بعيسى عدي مصقورها صحته ازعيمنا عندنا كنز نفير جعل عمره يلزم العافيه وطهورها والفرايد في معاليك تزها يا المشير ويستعد بحضرتك سيدي طابورها جيشنا لا در صم الرحات المستدير يطحن حبوب الرحاله وشديد دورها ما عليه خلاف ما دام بشور المشير قائد قاد الجوش وتعلى سورها Then the BDF commander in chief honored the outstanding graduates At the conclusion of the ceremony, a commemorative gift was given to the BDF Commander-in-Chief by the head of the military college, which was followed by the delivering of the banner of the college from the graduating brigade to the 15th cohort of the Qadisiya Brigade. بسم الجمعة الخامسة عشر نعالجوا أمام الله ثم الملك أن نحافظ عليها حتى آخر غطرة في لبانا Then the graduates undertook the legal oath أقسم بالله العظيم أقسم بالله العظيم أقسم بالله العظيم باعتباري عسكريا في قوة الدفاع أن أكون وفيا لمملكة البحرين أمينا على حقوقها مخلصا لمليكها القائد الأعلى الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة مطيعا لجميع الأوامر الحقة التي تصدر إلي من رؤسائي منفذا لها في البر والجو والبحر داخل وخارج المملكة وأن أضع نفسي وقدراتي في خدمة المملكة وأن أحمي علمها وأحفظ أمنها واستقلالها وسلامة أراضيها معاديا من يعاديها مسالما من يسالمها محافظا على شرفي وسلاحي لا أتركه حتى أذوق الموت والله على ما أقول شهيد
Then the BDF commander-in-chief delivered the diplomas in military sciences to the graduates. To mark the occasion, the BDF commander-in-chief expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keen interest in the BDF and his constant support. He congratulated the graduates and said that their education will be their weapon as they carry on, especially through advanced and specialized training programs, which are designed to develop their skills and to help them in fulfilling their national duties. He then welcomed the attendees from Yemen and wished them further success. He thanked all of the affiliates of the college for their hard and productive work. The BDF commander-in-chief affirmed the great national role that the BDF occupies through which it maintains battle readiness and high morale in order to defend the country and added that it represents the cornerstone of peace, security and stability under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He expressed his appreciation for the efforts of all of the BDF affiliates on all levels and in all fields and for their great sacrifices for God, His Majesty the King and the country. The ceremony was attended by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Head of His Majesty the King's Military Office, Sheikh Abdullah bin Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the President of the National Security Agency, Lieutenant General Adel bin Khalifa Al Fadl, the Minister of Information Ali bin Muhammad Al Ramahi, the Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, the National Guard Staff Director Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, along with a number of ambassadors, military attaches of friendly countries, and officers and officials from the kingdom. In the presence of the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the National Oil and Gas Authority, Noga, organized a celebration of Bahrain's National Days to commemorate the establishment of the modern Bahraini state by its founder, Ahmed Al Fatah, and an Arab and Islamic country in 1783, as well as His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Present was the Minister of Information, Ali bin Mohammed Al Ramahi, and the Capital Governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. On this occasion, the Oil Minister expressed sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister as well as the people of Bahrain. He affirmed that the directives of His Majesty the King have elevated the economic and social status of the oil and gas industry and facilitated, or facilitated major achievements in the fields of exploration and production. He stated that the National Day celebrations are an occasion to highlight national achievements in various fields including oil and gas which is witnessing the construction of a number of major projects such as the expansion of the Babco refinery, which is considered one of the biggest historic investments made by Babco. The oil minister affirmed that he, the kingdom, uh, through the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and through committing to precautionary and preventative health measures, has been able to combat the repercussions of the coronavirus, as oil and gas projects are still underway without being significantly affected by the pandemic. Another educational achievement has been added to the record of the kingdom as Bahrain's results of the Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study 2019, TIMS 2019 exams were announced. The results were praised by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education Training, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, in addition to the Cabinet. The performance of Bahraini students increased in comparison to previous editions and According to international standards, Bahrain ranked the first Arab country in the fourth and eighth grade science tests, as well as the mathematics test for the eighth grade. It also ranked the second Arab country in fourth grade mathematics, just, just one mark behind the first country. The Ministry of Health has advised that coronavirus COVID-19 vaccinations are available without the need to register online for appointments at designated residential health centers starting from Friday the 25th of December. The Ministry noted that those who have previously registered online for an appointment will be contacted with their appointment details for vaccination on the 24th of December. The Ministry further noted that in line with the national vaccination campaign, the Kingdom has prepared its health centers to receive citizens 
citizens and residents every day from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day without the need for a prior appointment. However, the ministry highlighted that on Fridays and Saturdays, the Kingdom's health centers will only be providing vaccination services. The Ministry of Health indicated that vaccination is available free of charge to all citizens and residents of the age of 18 years and above. The ministry concluded by underscoring the importance of vaccinations to protect individuals, their families and the community, adding that the Kingdom's national vaccination campaign is a key component of the government's comprehensive response to combat COVID-19 and safeguard the health of the Kingdom's citizens and residents. The Council of Representatives expressed appreciation and gratitude for the Royal Directors for the concerned authorities to compensate the Bahraini sailors affected by the measures taken by the Qatari authorities and to start estimating the damages and compensating them. It affirmed its support for the restoration of customary conditions for Qatar to allow Bahraini sailors to fish in Qatari waters to the Qatari UAE borders and in return Bahrain permits Qatari sailors to fish in Bahraini waters to the Bahraini, Bahraini Saudi borders. The council also stressed the importance of direct bilateral negotiations with Qatar to reach an agreement on the continuity of permitting fishermen in the two countries to practice their activities, enhance joint Gulf cooperation and uh, contribute to preserving customs and traditions and common interests. Three Concepts won the third edition of the Government Innovation Competition. Fikra launched upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The winning concepts were selected by a committee of government ministers meeting remotely in combination with a public vote. The ministerial committee selected expanding mental health services in the community presented by Buthayna Al Asfour and Dr. Adi Al Salman of the Psychiatric Hospital at the Ministry of Health and Medic in every home presented by, uh, by Kauthar Fuad Salman and Nadia Jassim Al Budris, also from the Ministry of Health. Members of the public selected the uh, Tamlik program presented by Sayyid Mahmoud Adnan Al Biladi of Bahrain's Labor Fund Tamkeen. The ministerial committee extended its congratulations to the winners and praised the depth of creativity and innovation presented at the final stage, proposals that contributed to greater efficiency in the provision of government services. The competition, win or the competition winners will be presenting their innovative ideas to the Government Executive Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, before implementation across relevant government agencies. The Ministerial Committee consisted of the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim al mutawwa Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamaydan, Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqub al hamar Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs, and Urban Planning, Engineer Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, Minister of Health, Faiq bin Saeed al Saleh, and Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al Mu'ayyad. The winning ideas were selected following a comprehensive evaluation process. Fikra supports a culture of creativity and innovation by empowering public sector employees to put forward ideas and proposals that meet the Kingdom's aspirations to increase the efficiency of government services aligned to the principles of Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and the 2019 2022 government program. Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, has launched a book titled Culture and Diplomacy at Bahrain National Museum. In the presence of His Majesty the King's Advisor for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the President of BACA, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. This book is an extension of a convention organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the BACA, and the Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies in October 2019. The book highlights the topics that were were discussed during the convention. It sheds light on important aspects of the cultural heritage of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its international effects represented by soft powers and Bahraini cultural diplomacy. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,618 with 124 recoveries, 184 registered new cases, 103 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 71 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.